your legs. Close your legs to marry men, hooker. Close your legs to marry men. Close your legs to marry men, trash box. What's up, my friend? I love sisters. Fina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. In the world, yeah. I'm already out here a uh, husband stealer, and this is too much. And ain't nobody out here stealing husbands, are they? I, I would never. There's too many going around, honey. It's a lot of single people out here. Last night, I saw a lot of single people in the building mm -hmm. last night. So, um, I don't think it's nobody want to steal nobody else's problems. I can tell you that, honey. <laughs> 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 Nobody wants to be nobody else's problems, honey. <laughs> so, nonetheless, I love you guys. Yeah, we do. We love y'all. There's so, so much is going on in the world. Let's just try to show each other a little more love. <laughs> and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. It's a lot going on in the world. <laughs> to watch part one, please click the very first link in the description below. I went into a lot of details about this case that I will not be repeating in this video most of you are aware that news broke yesterday that the man that nanny leaks is currently dating is still married and his wife filed a lawsuit against her and in part one i broke down the law in north carolina and the alienation of um, affection law and all of that so definitely watch part one i know in the title i wrote nanny leaks doesn't care sharing Obviously, they're no longer sharing because the wife is done. He's with Nini now. But in the lawsuit, the wife said that she found out that her husband was with Nini when Nini posted pictures, but that she was very much still married to him. They were very much together in that marriage when she saw those pictures. So that means they were sharing and that her husband was allegedly cheating on her with Nene leaks so that's where the title came from but they're no longer sharing however Nene is pretending to not care she's posting videos like this which i can't play the background music because that's a song lyrics on the screen as you can see the lyrics yours mine ours okay this is not what the song is about but the lyrics however is fitting because Nene thinks it's a joke to do this even though like we all know one of her iconic catchphrases was close your legs to marry men towards kim zosiak but she's laughing this all she thinks it's a joke because that's what hypocrites do they are the loudest in the room all they do is project their insecurities on other people and then when they find themselves in similar situation they pretend to be unbothered and we all know that she's bothered i was about to end this video and add other things that she said on the instagram live to this video something else happened on twitter so i am going to save those other topics that she brought up for a separate video so this person responded to the blog page that posted about nini leaks messing with a married man and his wife suing her and they responded nini you know that man was married or you knew that man was married and so greg leaks daughter responded with this right here so was my dad greg when she met him but i digress greg leaks may his soul rest in peace you can never win when you play dirty somebody is quoting her rep to your father and then this person responded i remember that was alleged a long time ago thank you for the confirmation and for refreshing our memories nothing is secret with nini slick games Okay. Oh, wow. I had no idea. And this person responded, didn't your father address this? Now, of course, when a man is being accused of cheating and his integrity is being questioned, of course, he's going to defend himself and say, that's not what happened. And, you know, protect his character and integrity. And that's exactly what Greg did. He took all the heat off Nene and he basically shut that down. And, you know, they were married for a long time, got a divorce, got remarried. 
you know the daughter was obviously at the wedding you see her in the picture and all of that but she did not stop there most of you remember a while ago nini, nini tweeted that she was blacklisted and of course she sued bravo for discrimination and the list goes on and on i have covered everything extensively so you all are aware of nini's story with bravo and so granddaughter tweeted i find it funny how folks want to claim being blacklisted but they did that same thing to their own family china bloop <laughs> not her pd what nini says and karma obviously the date is april okay so this is not recent but i figured since i was on her page and i was confirming and making sure that this was indeed greg leek's daughter page i went through her tweets i went through her page because you know sometimes when people tweet things and they start to get backlash or feedback or certain comments they come back and they'd be like my, my account was hacked or that account is fake it's not me so i wanted to make sure it was really her twitter page before adding these tweets to my video so as you can see the whole point of including the blacklist that is she's been throwing shade at nini and i get it nini allegedly met her dad when he was still married okay and then the dad left the family and ended up with nini then nini goes on a show and starts screaming to another woman close your legs to married men all of america takes it and runs with it place nini on this pedestal and her marriage on this pedestal when all nini was doing was projecting because she too did not close her legs allegedly to a married man that whole situation affected her relationship with her dad okay greg talked about it during the spin-off that it took a while for him to reconnect with his children because their mother made it difficult the custody battle was terrible and there was a point there where he simply just walked away and you saw them reconnecting on their spin-off that they had for their second wedding. the same situation that's going on here right now with this man that she's dating there's absolutely no way around it according to nini once you're married you're married regardless of the circumstances and a woman should close her legs to a married man period regardless if he's separated or not so then nini argument in those videos i posted that she's not stealing any one husband when there are single men out here of course you can't steal a grown person from another grown person what i'm saying is her claim is she's not dating a married man but you are because he is still legally married now i understand he's separated and he's going through a divorce and he could do whatever he wants to do I'm just going by what Nini said. According to her rules, she's being a hypocrite and pretending to be unbothered. This is absolutely nothing new. It's not tea. This is actually old. <laughs> However, the Real Housewives of Atlanta fans and just people in general, they have selective hearing when they rock with you they will make excuses for you they will laugh with you in the midst of a mess and you being messy they will only turn on you when there's a bandwagon to jump on or when you have just hit rock bottom and they can no longer support you all of these things been there. We've heard all of these stories. Kim Zosiak said it. However, because Nini was the star of the show and oh, she's funny. And you know, Greg, of course, was an amazing husband and all of that. Yes, they had their ups and downs, but they came back together and they made it work. So when people all about you, they will do that. How many times did Kenya Moore say, Portia Williams is this way. Nene Leakes is this way. This person is this way. And everybody called her a hater, dragged her, and basically supported all of the lies and accusations made against her when all of those women were simply projecting their insecurities onto her. It took Portia Williams going on her own show and then disrespecting and wanting to fight okay her ex-fiance mother and made a complete fool out of herself before some of her supporters finally said enough is enough 
Portia. This is who you are. There's no more Kenya to blame. There's no one else to blame. You need help. Go and get the help. It literally took that happening. And it's the same thing happening here. We knew this, but no one cared because it was Nene. And I do my best to not throw our girl name in everything. But she just fits the perfect <laughs> examples to these stories. And that's why she gets mentioned. Because I'm just sitting here thinking about all of the people who are laughing with Nini. Yes, Nini, that's how you clap back. Oh, yes, Nini, we believe you. Imagine if Kenya Moore was in Portia and Nini Leak's situation with another man wife suing Kenya Moore. Okay, and what Portia went through with Simon, imagine the type of anger and rage and cancel Kenya Moore and Twitter will be crashing right now. Yes, you have people dragging in and the close your legs and marry man, but it's nothing compared to how if this was Kenya Moore, the woman even breed and she makes a hairline child. I walked by Kenya and she breed and she was breeding kind of funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She even left her finger and it's a problem. And these women can just be reckless out here and it's like, ah, a little joke here and there, a little comments here and there, but oh, it's no big deal. And that's the reason why I use her as an example because of the hypocrisy when it comes to this franchise now on nini and greg spin of the children were involved but you already know allegedly there were rules set in place there's certain things you can't say certain topics you can't bring up and at that point nini had been on the show for a while of course the daughter held greg responsible all of the blame is not on nini greg was the married one who made the choice allegedly to step out and he did what he did and the divorce happened and he ended up with nini lastly i do want to apologize if some parts of this video sounded repetitive this is what happens when you've been working on a video since this morning but you had to put it on hold because like i've always said i have businesses outside of youtube so i got very busy and i had to come back to the video and now it's getting late and i do want to upload it tonight and at the end of the video my brain is like did i already say this let me add it to be safe so if i added something that i already said i apologize in advance everything else that i have to say about this topic i'm going to be saying it in part three in my last and final video on this subject and close this chapter because i do have more to say but like i said it's getting late and i do want to post this video tonight thank you all for your patience have a safe and wonderful weekend and take care the end here my friend i love thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn on notifications so when i do post you where they're posted and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless <laughs>